we uh, realized we were going to run out of time to have lunch at the canteen. They give you a free lunch with your through ticket. Um, but when we asked if we could come back in, we went out to the canteen just outside the gate. We we're told no. So we'll try after we exit and uh, hopefully they won't quibble over 15 minutes because it's about five to two and we want to climb the spirit tower. We went through the main hall's exhibit. It was uh, quite good. All about the Yangle Emperor and a little bit about uh, Zhang He. The eunuch uh, admiral who did seven voyages to Southeast Asia and India, Africa during the Ming Dynasty. Then some models and other things about the Ming tombs in general. This is the silk uh, oven where they would burn effigies of money and silk to uh, offer prayer. I don't know if it was to the gods or to the ancestors or both. Which way do we go? To the left? <coughs> to the right? Okay. <laughs> Let's make it purple for the Emperor. Probably gonna run out of time. It's already 2 o'clock and we didn't go to Ding Ling or Zhou Ling yet. But I don't think they have as much to see. They're not as grand in their layout as this one. There is a small museum though, I think, at Ding Ling to see as well. What do we got? Phoenix and Dragons. For the Empress and Empress, it's quite a common motif. I've seen this over and over again on the balustrades of the marble carriageways. Yeah, phoenixes and dragons. With dragon spout heads here. Dragons are benign in Asian culture. What happened? You did, what'd you spill it on? Yourself? Not the bag, I hope. No, not We're the safe bag. inside? Okay, good. You want to try? Yeah, I'll have some. Oh. Is it good? Yeah, it's alright. It's almond, right? Mm. You want cookies? With your milk. There's a big one here at the corner. You know what the symbol of the Empress is? The Phoenix. Yeah, it's the symbol of the uh, symbol of Yin and the Empress, females, Phoenix. Yeah. Yang. What does long mean? Long? Yeah. Dragon. And uh, what is Fong is Phoenix, yeah. F E N G. Phoenix. Yeah. What is um? How do you, what does uh, Yang mean? Y A N G. Yang. Like male. Yang is male. Macho. Yeah, and then yin is like woman and bad and coward and <laughs> it's so masochist or uh, miss it. What is it? Uh, misogyny. Uh, misogynistic. Okay, I'll go up the tower. You come when you're ready. Okay.
Lingxin Gate. Gate of the Threshold of Stars. Lingxin Gate is also called Two Pillar Gate. It is said that this kind of architectural style originated in the Han, which served to pray for good harvest. The two straight and upright stone pillars together with the drum clasping stone are about eight meters in height. The gate has double tier roof with legendary beast Wang Tian Hu and Crouching Tiger. No, beast Wang Tian Hu and crouch, Crouching on top of the roar and roaring upward to the sky. Wang Tian Hu. With Wang Tianhu, I guess it's one of those combo beasts. We have griffins and all that. They have the same thing in Asian mythology. All sorts of wacky stuff going on. Head of a horse, tail of a donkey, hooves of a goat. Here we got some stone versions of a ding tripod and some other offering pots. Wugong, five sacrificial utensils. Wugong refers to the ancient symbolic stone carved sacrificial utensils. The incense burner of round tripod shape in ancient style with two loop handles and three legs with cloud and Dragon carved on the lid stands in the middle and candlesticks and vases are on its two sides. So it's an incense burner, an incensario, not a uh, ding, I guess. I always say dings were food vessels. Not for incense burning. Very famously, the uh, shape of the uh, Shanghai Museum is built like a ding. I think I like the Shanghai Museum better than the uh, National Museum, though the Capital Museum in Beijing gives it a run for its money. You know what this reminds me of? When you're going into the uh, Hadrian's tomb there in uh, Rome, Castel San Angelo. Show me the way to go home. I'm tired and I want to go to bed I had a little drink about an hour ago It's gone right to my head Wherever I may roam Land a sea of foam You can always hear me Singing this song Show me the way to go home. Tourists, stop. No smoking, no climbing, caution wet floor. They're all about the safety. <laughs> Yellow tiles of the emperor. Only the emperor can wear imperial yellow. Take it off. It's my Puyi impression. niche here. Flowers, dugong. That's the uh, main hall, the whole complex. And it's not the best, best visibility day, but we're right up against the mountains, so you can still see them through the smog. Cough gag choke. Minglu, Sou Tower. This is a symbolic structure of the mausoleum in the Ming Dynasty. 
It was wooden framed when it was reconstructed in the Qing Dynasty, 1785-87. Its frame was changed to stone. The sacred stele inside the tower was re-erected, 1605 in the Ming Dynasty. The tower was struck and damaged by thunderbolts, 1604, and rebuilt the next year with a new stele inscribed with Mausoleum of Emperor Chengju. It's like some orchards here. You know what I should do is check my phone, make sure I saw everything here. They had a nice spread on this in the uh, DK Eyewitness Guide. Stele Pavilion. Gate of the Entrance. Gate of Eminent Favor. This was Hall of Eminent Favor. Dingling Treasures. Spirit Tower. Earth and Mound surrounded by circular rampart covers the stone burial chamber. So that's the actual tomb. And they talk about Ding Ling's barrel chamber, which I hope we have time to see. It's been so long getting here, three hours. Unbelievable how much time gets wasted in transit. Hour here, hour there. Yes, we've seen everything. Now, I, now I've seen it all. Now I've seen it all. I've seen all this, all this tune they be talking about. Done seen it all, boy. Gotta go down. I don't see the circular rampart though. <coughs> Gotta put my mask on. What am I do with it? It's in here. Bought a new one this morning. It's still an M95. I was hoping to find one with a 99 rating. This only blocks 95% of the shit in the air. Particulate matter. But it's got a valve, so it's a little bit easier to breathe, which means I'm more willing to keep it on. Which doesn't matter how much your mask blocks if you don't want to wear it, because it's difficult to breathe through. Well then, forget about it. The only thing I don't like about these masks is they come in a package folded in half and uh, it makes the nose area always want to go into a really a really fine uh, folded point and you got to constantly try to flatten it out and if you don't flatten it out then it doesn't it doesn't conform to your nose very well and then you end up breathing in particulate matter anyway. Hey! You wanna go up? We'll go up. Huh. The eunuch uh, admiral who did seven voyages to Southeast Asia and India, Africa during the Ming Dynasty. Then some models and other things about the Ming tombs in general. This is the silk uh, oven where they would. We uh, realized we were going to run out of time to have lunch at the canteen. They give you a free lunch with your through ticket. Um, but 
when we asked if we could come back in, if we went out to the canteen just outside the gate, we were told no. So we'll try after we exit and uh, hopefully they won't quibble over 15 minutes because it's about five to two and we want to climb the spirit tower. We went through the main hall's exhibit. It was uh, quite good. All about the Yangle Emperor and a little bit about uh, Zhang Burn. Effigies of money and silk to uh, offer prayer. I don't know if it was to the gods or to the ancestors or both. Which way do we go? To the left? <coughs> to the right? Okay.